Suddenly, the number 21 Gators are 3-1, building momentum with three straight sack wins and doing it while riding their offense. And, yep, that maligned offensive line. Florida finished off its comeback at Kentucky riding the back of freshman running back Malik Davis as he rushed for 60 yards in the final quarter alone, and a week later the Gators totaled 218 rushing yards and five touchdowns on the ground and rolling past Vanderbilt. Next up is the much-anticipated calendar-circled showdown with LSU, 3-2-0-1 sect, which limps into the swamp this Saturday off a humbling and humiliating 24-21 loss to Troy, a program it paid nearly a million dollars to have visit Baton Rouge, la. The Tigers were missing four starters in that game, but they've also been blown out by Mississippi State, 37-7 and looked lackluster in a win over Syracuse, 35-26, so far. So what do the Gators need to do this weekend to make it four wins in a row? Here are their five keys to success. Follow the formula. It's clear now, as it was before the season, that Florida's best recipe for success is to ride its rushing attack as far as it will go and minimize the pressure on redshirt freshman quarterback Philip Franks. LSU comes in ranked to respectable 37th nationally against the run, 126 yards per game allowed on the ground, but it also just allowed Troy to rush for 206 yards on an average of 4.9 yards per carry. That would be Troy from the Sun Belt Conference. The Tigers' annual reputation is that of a physical, defense-driven team that can beat down or simply overmatch opponents. Well, maybe not so much this year. Last year, Florida managed just 3.6 yards per carry while winning a 16-10 slugfist at LSU. This time, the Gators need more from their ground game. The defense simply isn't good enough to lean on in the same way as before. The good news for Florida, though, is the offense is finally starting to carry some of the load.